Okay, so today's lesson is all about identifying patterns specifically with rectangular numbers. So let's look at our math message for today. It says use centimeter cubes to build the following arrays. One by two, two by three, and three by four. Now, you don't have centimeter cubes at home, so I'm gonna show you how to do it with cubes and then how to do it just with X's, and you can use either one. So first, let's do it with cubes. So I'm just gonna be using my base 10 little app here. And again, if you wanted to download this, you absolutely can. I'm using it on my iPad. So I have to use these cubes to build one by two. So one row and two. So one row, two columns. So remember, this is the row. And then here's the column. End over. Okay, so we just did one by two. So your array should have looked like this or you can use X's. All right, two by three. So I'm gonna take, oops. Oh, no, let me just erase this, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna have two rows and three columns. So that's showing two by three. And if you did this as a array with X's, you would do three across and your row, you would have two X's to show two by three. All right, last one is three by four. So I'm gonna have a row of three and then four columns. And then I would just fill it in. So what do you guys notice? Oh, let me do it in X's for you. So I did three by four, and then you have to fill in the rest of the array. So what do you guys notice about the patterns that you see in the three different arrays using the centimeter cubes? So you might notice they are all rectangular in shape. So they all have longer sides and then shorter sides. So they all form rectangles. All of the arrays have an even number of cubes. So here, the first one has two cubes. This has six cubes. And this has 12 cubes. So all even numbers, two, six, and 12 are all even numbers. And you also probably notice that every time we added an array, you added one row and one column each time. So see here you had two columns, but here you have three. And you had one column and now you have two. So every time you added a column and a row. So if I wanted to make another number in this sequence, I would have my, let me get my pen back up. I would have my 12 array X's to form the array, which I have here, and I would add another row and another column. So now this shows 36. Hold on. I'm sorry, not 36. 12 was original, and then we added 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, which is also an even number. So these are all rectangular numbers. So this is what our lesson is on today. So I'm actually going to erase all of my writing 
So these are examples of rectangular numbers. And those are numbers that are represented by rectangular arrays, which are what you asked, what you were asked to make. And each time you add one row and one column every time. Okay, so now you guys might have remembered from previous lessons or even from last year that these are a little different than square numbers. So square numbers are a little bit different. Those are arrays that form perfect squares. So this is a perfect square. Or to make another, the next perfect square, I couldn't leave it like that because that's a rectangle. So I would have to add two to the top. That's a perfect square. The next perfect square, now look, I can't leave it like that because that's a rectangle, so I would have to add three to the top to make it a perfect square. A square, all the sides are the same. So here you could see I have three um, columns and three rows. One column, one row two columns, two rows, perfect squares. So this represents the number one, this represents the number four, this represents the number nine, all square numbers. So the rule that we can use to find any square number is just multiplying that number by itself. So this represents two times two, this represents one times one, 9 represents 3 times 3. The next one would be 16 because that's 4 times 4. And then 25 would be the next square number because that's 5 times 5. And then we could keep going all the way through. So what's different here for square numbers is they alternate even or odd. So All of these are odd numbers, and then these are even. So the next square number would be an even number, and it's 36, which is an even number. But for rectangular numbers, they are all even. They do not, they're not odd. If you get an odd rectangular number, that's not correct. They're all even. Okay, so how can we find a rule for rectangular numbers? So I'm actually going to erase, because our lesson today is not on square numbers, it's on rectangular numbers. And what does that mean in terms of multiplication? Okay. So how can we write these arrays as multiplication equations? How can we write a multiplication number model to represent each array? Well, this one would represent 1 times 2, right, because it's 1 by 2. This one was 2 by 3, so 2 times three, which is six, this is two, and this one would, pro would represent three times four. So how, what equation can we use to find the fourth rectangular number without using cubes? What do you think we would do? Well, if you notice, the numbers go in order and just repeat. So one, two, two, three, three, four. So the next rectangular number would be four times five, which is 20. 
The fifth rectangular number would be, I'm reusing that five, five times six, which is 30. Then the sixth one would be six times seven, and then you would just keep going. Okay, so we're gonna explore different number patterns using rectangular numbers in your math journal pages, so go and watch that next video.